If you want to know the EMF levels of the new Aura Ring 3rd generation, stay tuned. Hey guys, Alex here from AlexFigures.com and I've got the 3rd generation 2021 Aura Ring here. Uh, this is the latest and greatest Aura Ring. I've also got my Cornet Electro Smog uh, EMF meter. Now, now, what I'm going to do in this video, like I've done for both the 1st and 2nd generation Aura Ring, I'm going to test the EMF level uh, when this ring is... Oh, when it's transmitting, pulsing. Now, if you're not familiar with the Aura Ring, one of the great features of this ring, and in fact it's becoming a bit of a standard across the board now for, for wearables, is the ability to enable airplane mode. Now what that does is disables the Bluetooth transmitter on this, so it cannot sync with your phone. Now if you're wondering, well, what's the point in that? I'm not going to learn about my body and get all that great data. Don't worry, um, it still is tracking the data, uh, the... The ring sensors still work, you're still getting your measurements, your heart rate, movement, all that sort of stuff. It's just not sending it off to your phone. So you can enable airplane mode and you can of course disable it. So by default it's off, but uh, you can just go into the app and enable airplane mode. That turns the Bluetooth transmitter off. And then when you want to get all that data, you simply put this back on your charging dock, which I have here. That automatically re-enables the um, transmitter so then you can sync and um, get all your glorious data. Now, for those of you who are just curious as to how much EMF is coming out of this, I'm going to test it soon uh, and I'm also going to interpret the data and say whether it's you know something you should be afraid of or concerned about or um, maybe it's not it's not at a concerning level and you can just leave the Bluetooth transmitting all the time. So we're going to find out now. So what I've got here is my EMF meter uh, there is a very little bit of background um, radio frequency at the moment. I've disabled everything, like I have my Polar Watch that's on airplane mode, my phone's on airplane mode. Uh, I had to disable, I had to get rid of my um, Bluetooth enabled microphones because that was just throwing the uh, results off. Um, yeah, everything around me is off except for I've got one security camera that has a Wi-Fi connection. It is about five meters away. So there is a very little bit of background noise, um, but I know these rings are much higher than that, so it shouldn't impact the result. I've also got the EMF levels from the Generation 2 ring, so uh, we'll, we'll see if this new third gen ring is putting up more or less or the same. All right, so right now, this ring is transmitting. Uh, I had it synced to my phone a few minutes ago, so it's currently pulsing. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna turn on the EMF meter into microwave mode, so it's testing, uh, radio frequencies and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this ring next to the sensor and we'll see what happens on the screen. You would have noticed that the light on the side here was up in the green slash yellow. It was bouncing between the two of them. That's, so that's the background level. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is take this aura ring and uh, put it next to the sensor. So you can see the base level. I don't know, there was a bit of a jump there. Okay, we're going to put this right next to the sensor. Whoa. Okay, so you can see those peaks on the graph, and you can see it's going right up into the red, so that is actually quite high. Uh, what's interesting is if I move this around, that's oh, still really high. So I thought maybe it was right against the Bluetooth chip. So obviously, um, this is right next to the ring, okay? So you can see that little graph on the side here. Sorry, this is pretty hard to film. You can see those, those spikes, so that's every time the aura ring is trying to transmit. Now, uh, what numbers are we getting there? Uh, I'm looking at this in reverse, so what is it, point? So we're seeing some reasonably high figures here. Here we're seeing 0.15, um, which is putting us close to the red. Before we are in the red, now we're in the high, high um, orange. So it does seem to vary slightly where I, depending on where I position it. So obviously, um, there's proximity of the, the transmitter and the sensor. Um, but those numbers are quite a lot higher than what I had in the Gen 2 ring. So the Gen 2 ring was getting, <coughs> on the side here, you'll see that there's three, um, two green, three yellows, and a couple of reds, all right? You, ideally, we want to be in the green or low yellows. Now, the Gen 2 was in the middle of the yellows. The Gen 3, what I was just testing here, was getting up to the high yellow, even into the red there. So it is putting out a lot more uh, non-native EMF um, compared to the second Gen ring. 
And um, as you can see, that's pulsing quite frequently, right? Like every second or every two seconds or so. Uh, so it is Bluetooth, it's a Bluetooth transmitter, and now a lot of people say Bluetooth is fine. Um, hey, I don't want this video to be on the dangers of EMF or anything like that. I just want, simply wanted to test the aura ring and share the data. So look, those numbers were a little bit higher than I'd expect. I was sort of hoping it would be lower than the Gen 2 ring, uh, but it looks like it's gone the other way. Now, what does that mean? Well, I, to be honest, look, I've been slack lately. Sometimes I've been charging it and then, you know, putting it on um, and without having my phone with me. So I've, I've left it in airplane mode, uh, sorry, in transmission mode. Uh, it might be a few hours later, I'm like, oh geez, I need to put it back in airplane mode. Um, so I've been pretty slack lately, but now after seeing that, I'm like, yeah, I've really got to tighten up on that. Especially because I've got a toddler and a newborn. So, you know, I'm, I'm holding them like I'm cradling a little girl, you know, my hands right behind her head and stuff. And that's pulsing every second straight into a, a baby's brain, you know, with, with this thin skull. So that's obviously my concern as a parent. Uh, what about you if you don't have kids or, you know, you, you don't come into contact with children or, or little ones? Should you personally be worried? I mean, again, that's, that's for you to decide. I just want to share those readings. Um, remember though, if you're seeing a red on here, uh, that's, that's a danger zone, high stress zone on the body based on building biology, building biology standards. So that is concerning now, because you, now if you're only exposed to that for a few minutes or, you know, like a certain period of a day or something, or once an hour or something like that, might not be a, such a big issue. But if that's pulsing all the time, and um, it's close to your body. Like obviously if it's on your hand, and your hand's out and about, maybe not such a big issue. But if you're sleeping, and you you know you sleep with your hand under your head, or you're holding a baby, or um, I don't know, your hand's in your pocket all the time, or whatever, then that could potentially be a little bit scary. Um, but again, I don't want to get into those details, I just want to focus more on the numbers itself. So, there we go. Uh, the Bluetooth level of the Aura Ring. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to go into my Aura Ring app uh, and I am going to disable the airplane mode. So it's, it's very easy to do. All right, so I've just gone into the Aura Ring app. Now you'll actually see here, um, Bluetooth is enabled. And on the top right, I can click that ring. So it means my Aura Ring is fully charged at the moment. I'm gonna click that and you'll see that it says ring connected. So that means it's updating and what has updated. And every you know, few minutes I'll, I'll be getting uh, more data from my ring which is great, but of course the body is um, exposed to that EMF data. Now, if I want to put it into airplane mode, all I'm going to do is connect that uh, circle on the top right, and then you'll see your ring airplane mode in the middle there. I'm going to tick that, turn on airplane mode, done. Okay, so we've enabled airplane mode on the ring here. So what we should see is when I put the ring next to the meter on that graph, uh, we shouldn't see any spikes like we saw before. Okay, here we have the meter. I'm gonna bring the ring over. And yeah, the reading is staying nice and low. We're just on the bottom yellow there, and there's no peaks, no spikes. So there's no there's no transmission from the ring. It's a dead ring, effectively. If I move that away, I think. So that is all very, very good. Pretty much then, if you're using the aura ring and you are worried about EMF levels and exposure to EMF, then Enable airplane mode, the ring still does everything you need it to do, tracking your sleep, movement, heart rate, all that cool stuff. And then when you want to get that data, disable airplane mode, sync it back up, get the data, re-enable airplane mode, boom. And you have an aura ring that's tracking everything without being exposed to the EMF. Those EMF levels are a little bit concerning. Personally, I'll be extra cautious to make sure that I am living in the airplane mode, especially at night time. If you're not worried during the day, if you're someone who isn't so worried about EMF, I still recommend disabling at nighttime anyway because you don't need to see that data at nighttime. And like if you are sleeping like that or you know who knows what effect it could be having on your body. If you do have any questions, please leave them below. Uh, now one thing, because I always get asked this, yes, in the airplane mode, if the ring is in the airplane mode, it still works. The sensors still work. It just doesn't transmit that data. But um, if you get confused, just leave any questions below. If you've enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I have done a quick review of the Aura Ring 3rd Gen before, so I'll put links to that below. I do want to do a more deeper dive review on the Aura Ring uh, once all these new features are unlocked, whenever that is going to be. Uh, so be sure to uh, hit subscribe if you want to hang around and see that.